Merci beaucoup, uh, merci beaucoup, Omar. Thank you, Omar. Les événements qui ont toujours lieu à Ottawa ont The events continuing to take place in Ottawa have profoundly shocked all Canadians. Since the outset of this crisis, our government has been working in close close collaboration with our partners, both at the provincial and municipal levels. We are attempting to identify their needs, and we would also like to identify how the federal government can provide support. continue to be, along with my cabinet colleagues, in contact with mayors and premiers from across the country. Our government is confident that the city of Ottawa and the province of Ontario have the tools and the jurisdiction to best respond to this crisis. We will continue to liaise with our provincial and municipal partners to put an end to this unacceptable situation. And as always, stand ready, as Minister Blair said, to provide any appropriate assistance available. Alors avec ça, je tourne la parole maintenant à mon collègue. Now I would like to turn the floor over to my colleague. Merci Dominique. Hello and thank you all for joining us today. Et bonjour, merci pour votre présence. Au nom des résidents, des familles, des travailleurs, des entreprises. On behalf of the workers and residents, community organizations in Ottawa Centre and the entire national capital region, I would like to repeat that we have had enough. Our residents, workers, and businesses are suffering. Our small businesses and community organizations have shown incredible resilience throughout this pandemic. Our essential services have stood strong through lockdowns and safety measures and have helped us keep residents safe. We are here to let you know we stand with you and we will continue to have your back. In the past days, I have had numerous conversations with Mayor Watson. I have also spoken at length with city councillors, representatives of local BIAs, business and community leaders. I have been engaged with concerned businesses, residents and organizations through countless phone calls, emails and text messages. They have shared firsthand with me the disruptions to their livelihood and well-being. Our residents deserve to feel safe in their communities. At this time and for the last 10 days, my community's rights have been restricted and that needs to stop. I would like to thank my colleagues for their attendance here today, for your collaboration since the very beginning of this situation. I would also like to thank my colleagues in the region and the national capital region they have understood and helped with the difficulties surrounding the convoy. We'll always support the right to peaceful protest in Canada, but we will also always condemn violence and threats. And from what we are witnessing on the ground and hearing from residents, this is the furthest thing from a peaceful protest. We call on the protesters to stop and respect the communities we represent. Merci et je passe la parole à mon Thank collègue d'Ottawa Centre. I'm going to pass it off to my colleague from Ottawa Centre. Uh, thank you, uh, Minister. Good afternoon. No words can accurately describe the agony of what my community has gone through. For residents of downtown Ottawa, this continues to be a horrific experience. C'est une expérience horrible. From what my community has seen in the past 11 days, the protesters' actions has not been peaceful or lawful. Members of my community have been harassed because of their skin color, yelled at for wearing masks, subjected to hurtful and racist symbols, torturous honking, and their accounts of assaults. Parking lots have been used as urinals Fireworks are being hurled down the streets every night. And over the weekend, there was an attempt to light on fire an apartment building. My heart goes out to the residents of downtown Ottawa who have demonstrated incredible resiliency, patience, and strength. 
We welcome the enhanced enforcement and the mayor's decision to declare a state of emergency. It has to continue until all the residential streets of downtown Ottawa are free of illegally parked trucks and restored back to what they were before so that people can live peacefully again. This has gone on too long. Res residents are not unable to sleep. Workers and businesses remain once again severely impacted. It's time for this to stop. Our community deserves to live in peace. I'm glad to see further collaboration between all levels of government. We must work together to put an end to this protest and protect our community. Thank you, Maxi.